This machine probably needs less of an introduction than me. And I'm the owner of this YouTube channel. Um, this obviously is the 1921 uh, 66-1 that's been featured in multiple videos on this channel. And as you can see, uh, it is absolutely uh, drop-dead gorgeous. The filigree, um, the finish on this machine is probably the envy of any machine owner uh, out there as far as vintage machines. And if I come along uh, the back side, it just continues to get better when it comes to the beauty and the appearance, appearance of this hand crank uh, machine. And as I rotate it back, um, this machine will stand out as a machine that is not only capable of sewing, but is breathtakingly uh, beautiful when it comes to uh, taking it to a quilting class, having it in your shop, or just in general showing it off. And uh, it's also very capable when it comes to uh, sewing off on, on any heavy grade material that you could put underneath that presser foot. I've also, uh, for sake of giving it even more versatility, have uh, decided to add a rolling foot to this as well that you'll be able to see probably even better in the photographs uh, for heavy grade sewing, quilting, pretty much any application that you would want to use this machine for. And uh, the serial number on this machine uh, is G as in George 9035532 which gives it a birthday of September 20th of 1921. And uh, in that particular production series, only 50,000 machines made. Uh, average size as far as a production series is around 100,000. So this machine not only uh, is proven from a sewing standpoint, but also is more rare as a result of the uh, size of the production series that it came from. And uh, you know what? I'm hoping that uh, even though I'm parting with a machine that's very fond to me, it's uh, again, it's it stood the test of time in that challenge against the 4411. It stood the test of time against a challenge from a gentleman that said, you know what, your machine can't sew two layers of full leather, which is the equivalent of 12 ounces. And we demonstrated again that this machine was more than able to do that. There we go. Finally have it level, I think. I'm also going to be including with this sale this original Singer Featherweight Control uh, and also this original Singer 0.6 amp motor. Because uh, the feedback from some that witnessed this amazing machine uh, stitching off in all those different videos said you know what I think a hand crank is amazing it's a phenomenal machine but if I want to have access to both my hands for turning material in that what about putting a motor on that machine can you do it absolutely um, this hand crank can be taken off and a motor can be mounted with the same mounting uh, bolt here on the side of the machine and you can sew with this machine motorized as well. So you have the option of using it solely as a hand crank, as you've seen it in all of those videos on my YouTube channel, or you can take the hand crank off and you can add this motor and this original uh, Bakelite foot controller to it and sew uh, using it as a motorized machine. Gives you both of, uh, best, the best of both worlds is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so make sure you check out the photographs that are part of this video as well where it's going to show this machine up close and personal and the, just the amazing beauty of this 1921 machine hardly believe it's quickly approaching 100 years old so make your offer on this machine and you'll have not only a phenomenal hand crank but also potentially a motorized machine and you'll have a bit of history from this YouTube channel because this machine has a legacy uh, as you can see in all the various videos that really distinguish it among machines on this channel. So I wish you the best and thanks for watching.